Hey everyone, Michael here. Today I want to walk through how I was able to get my Android screen to work in Kali Linux. There is a bunch of other cool things that we got with that, such as being able to use the mouse cursor to navigate on the phone, to even using your keyboard to input data. Let's look and see how we got that set up. Okay, so there is an open source tool that is called Screen Copy. I originally tried to do a sudo apt install screen copy, uh, but it could not find it. So what I was thinking of was that maybe I needed to update my system. So I have an alias that is set up, and that alias does an update on the Linux system. And I'm going to speed through this since it does take a bit of time for this to complete. Everything is now complete now. As you can see, this wound up taking 34 minutes to completely update. So now I went in for some reason and I tried it again. So I did sudo apt git install screen copy. Again, it wasn't able to locate the package. Okay, so let's type in a sudo apt install on snapd. Now, Snapd is an, another alternative of a package manager that some folks use, especially in other distros. So we're just using it here as well. It's SNAPD. Once that's complete, we need to type in system CTL enable, and we're going to go dash dash now Snapd space app armor. So this is one of the services that you need to enable once installed SnapD. It is going to ask us for a password here. Okay, and once that's finished, uh, it says that it created a sim link. Okay, so let's type in snap install screen copy. And now it's going through the downloading process. So one thing to note here is, is that it does have a warning here and that warning states slash snap slash bin was not found in your dollar sign path. If you've not restarted your session since you installed snap D, try doing that. And then it gives a forum that has a little bit more information, which we'll be adding that very shortly. So we'll type in sudo apt install and now we need to add on the drivers that's going to interact with our Android. So we're going to do, take ADB. We're going to take Android tools dash ADB. And then finally, we're going to take just Android tools fast boot. I'm going to have to hit yes again. Looks like it finished up here. So we'll type ADB and then devices. And what it says here, it says it's not running yet. Now it's starting it up. Uh, it currently doesn't find any devices. Once I attach in my USB Android phone, then now I can see that there is a device that is active. So now type in for us, snap install, hello world. We're just going to install this one simply because we want to make sure that Snap is installed. It's working properly on Kali Linux. And here yet again, we get that same message that says Snap slash bin was not found in your path. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look and see how we can fix that. So let's go, we're going to use Visual Studio Code. And since I'm using Z Shell, I just typed in there tilde slash dot Z s h r c um, if you're using bash obviously you would just go and edit that file so once i'm in visual studio code here i am going to scroll down to the very bottom and we're going to add in that path so path equals dollar sign path and then a slash snap and then a slash bin b-i-n so from here, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to save this file. It's been saved and now I'm just going to come back in here and I'm going to run hello slash world. Okay, and it looks like hello world is working just perfectly. Let's go ahead and run the command for our screen copy so we can share our Android screen. There we go. 
everything's looking good so far. And there is the GitHub repo in case you want to use that. And I just ran it another time here and it seemed like that picked it up. So here we go. I am logged into my Android phone. Here I'm currently at the location on my phone. As you can see, there is my mouse cursor. Now looking at developer options, just ensure you have USB enabled there. And here we go. I was able to type hello into this window. Thank you so very much for uh, watching this video and I hope it helped. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel for more information just like this. Until next time, bye-bye.